Why should you use Linux? We're going to talk about that and more today on Jeremy's Tech Channel. Why should you use Linux? For those of you who watch my channel regularly, you know that I'm in a 60-day Linux challenge. I've been using Linux daily for about six weeks now, and it's been going outstanding. I love it, I think it's wonderful. I got a piece of hardware that works very well for me and is running Linux beautifully. So from that perspective, I'm doing great. I'm also recording 60 videos in 60 days as well, just to give myself an opportunity to immerse myself in the operating system. The more you work in something, the more you get familiar. But why did I choose Linux? And I, I went through, and I've gone through some of those in some earlier videos, but I want to ask the question today why you should choose Linux. If you are a regular viewer, you probably already have chosen to use Linux in some shape, form, or fashion. But maybe you're curious about why you should choose Linux. And I think it's, it's not that difficult to pinpoint why you should, but we should definitely define it for you and see really if it is for you. I will start with what should keep you from using Linux. And, and they're pretty basic things that you probably are, are holding on to. But if you're looking to see if you want to use Linux, these probably aren't things that are going to be holding you back. One main one is specific software that needs to be run that you have that is not on Linux. Now, I'm not talking about if you need an Excel spreadsheet or something like that. There are plenty of alternates that you can use for that that would work just as good. For many years, there was the Pro Tools ecosystem for recording audio. And for a long time, that only worked on Windows. And in that case, if you depend on that hardware and that software, you shouldn't choose Linux because that's not gonna work for you. Another reason that you may not want to use Linux is, well, you like what you have already. <laughs> if you like what you got, there's no need to change. But if you feel like you're missing out, let me tell you something that you might be missing out on. I think the biggest reason why you should choose Linux is one that gets overlooked more than it should, but I'll get to that in just a moment. I think a lot of us who have gotten into Linux fall into two camps as far as the majority, not the minority. There are other reasons why people do it, but two main reasons. One, they have a piece of older hardware and they want to get it to run well. Either they want it to run efficiently, you know, have the snappiness back, or it's just something that they love and the operating system like Windows or Mac doesn't support their hardware anymore. That's one camp that tends to get people in, and once they get in, they're like, I love this, I don't want to move away. The other camp is people who are typical programmers and developers who are in this, it's just a natural transition for them. A lot of things are done in the terminal. Uh, if you choose to go that route, you don't have to, but if you choose to go that route, you can, and so it feels very natural for them, and that's the two main reasons. Now, I'm a Mac user. Um, before I got on to Linux. So I'm not the majority, I'm the minority, but my first go of Linux 15 years ago was trying to revive old hardware. So maybe that's something for you because Linux definitely uh, gives opportunity for you to be able to revive old hardware, refresh old hardware. Also, if you're a code program developer, there's gonna be a natural transition for you. But the biggest piece that I think is something that needs to be discussed and really worked through and really that you should understand is the community aspect. And here's what I mean. If you're a person who does not like people, <laughs> you don't, you know, you're, no, you're an introvert, you don't like big groups of people, everyone needs relationships, don't misunderstand me, but where else in the world can you gain a community as avid and as connected as the Linux community. And this may be something that you may want or need. You may want a community and where, you know, where else can you do that through your computer? Now, I know there's communities that are like a gaming communities. Uh, World of Warcraft communities is a perfect example that, it, that were experienced through years. A lot of those kind of games, you have that community there. But with Linux, there are so many things that so many people are contributing. It's as if even the operating system itself is a community. Yes, Linus Torvalds developed 
the Linux kernel. But now there's so many more people. I was listening to a TED talk from him, I guess it was five, six years ago. And one of the things that he realized that he loved about it, now he's a person who doesn't like to be around a bunch of people, but what he loved is people looking at his code and seeing something new from it. There's so many people that have the opportunity with free and open source that allows for a connection to this. Now, obviously I'm not a programmer, I'm not a developer, and if you aren't either, that still doesn't mean we can't contribute to what is going on with Linux. You know, you report bugs, you use the software, express what you're seeing, what you love about it. You know, this YouTube channel is drawing attention to Linux in a hopefully a positive way. I tell you what, if I go to the airport and there's a laptop open up and there's Linux on it, I guarantee you, I'm gonna go up and talk to the person and we're gonna have an instant connection because we have something that we love that is there. So few people, at least in your, your regular circles, don't use. Maybe you are blessed and lucky to have those circles. Maybe you work at a um, company where you get to code and, and things like that. And that's wonderful. I'm really happy that you have that. But there's also a lot of people uh, like myself that don't necessarily have a bunch of people who get this. You know, I, I tell people I have a Linux YouTube channel or I will start by telling them I have a tech YouTube channel and they're like, oh yeah, that's cool. I like technology. And then it's almost really about Linux. And they're like, what's Linux? <laughs> and they're like, you, you know, I didn't understand a word that was said on your channel. <laughs> and I feel like I'm on the like, surface level of Linux communication. There's so many wonderful people who are communicating about Linux, but I'm still a part of this piece. And it is a very personal piece because so many people have their hands in it. And if you are looking for a community, Linux should definitely be on the forefront. I should also mention the free and open source philosophy is definitely something that should get you excited and should be something that you should consider when looking at an operating system. This conversation isn't about whether there should be or shouldn't be proprietary software, but I will say there is a philosophy that is good and healthy with open source that I think you might find interesting. Yes, because of the amount of users is, is small in the scope of who uses computers, there are very little viruses and malware that are written for Linux. I mean, there are some, and obviously, you know, Linux is huge in the server space. So there's a lot of Linux going on. There's a lot of Linux in a lot of different ways. And that's what makes Linux so wonderful. But, you know, in this conversation, we're talking about putting it on your laptop, putting it on your desktop, building a computer with Linux in mind. I will say the community aspect is cool. I'm connected to people that I didn't think I would be connected with. Now we're only talking, you know, about two, three months before I started this channel and now we're six weeks in. And if you look at what's happening, you're part of a forum when you're looking for problems and you communicate your issues, you connect in social media ways and there is a natural community and a language that is spoken that is true and wonderful and great. I just want to encourage you, if you have a computer that you need to revive, you should, you should try Linux out. If you're looking to buy a new computer, I wish I would have known more when I purchased my computer because I might not have even purchased this Dell G15 laptop. I might have purchased a laptop from System76, which is a hardware and software company that puts Linux on their hardware. There's also a company over in Spain called Slimbook that puts Linux on their hardware. So you get that laptop, you get that desktop, it's already got Linux on it. There are others that have that. Those aren't the only two, but those are the two that comes to mind right now. If you're considering buying a new computer and you like the idea of a community and you like the idea of free and open source software, please consider looking at Linux. You could be the person who needs that, and this could work out great for you. And truth be told, that laptop from System76 or Slimbook or whatever, if it just doesn't work out for you, there's a good chance that you could install Windows on it and get it rolling if it just doesn't work out for you. But if you have an experience like I've been having, you're not gonna feel that way. Word processing, spreadsheets, video editing, 
audio editing, all of those typical web development, all those pieces that you typically need in a computer is right there in Linux. And it is a beautiful thing. Yes, I'm calling an operating system beautiful. That's the way I feel about it. And I love it. And I've never been connected to an operating system. And I'm sharing this because I'm asking the question for you, why you should use Linux and hearing from someone who's using it from a, you know, a newer user's perspective, why I love it. And also giving you reasons to love it. Hey, if this hits a spot for you and you decided, hey, I wanna use Linux, put it in the comments. If you are one of these users of Linux for you know, 20, 30 years, or maybe you just hopped on board, share your reasons why you use Linux. Let us know. Maybe there's some other reasons that I haven't even thought of that might have helped you make that decision. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.